Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and today I'm going to give you <laughs> a peek into my clothing closet and in my drawers. Well, just my, <laughs> that came out wrong, just my, uh, my clothing drawers, my dresser. How about that? Oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. Should I cut that out? No, no, I shouldn't. Okay, so I thought... I thought today I would share with you the reason why I do not have a clothing envelope. Everybody always asks, Lisa, why don't you have a clothing budget? And I say, I don't need anything next year. And I counted every piece of clothing to prove my point. Let's start with my pants. These are long pants, a combination of jeans and like two pairs of sweatpants. And these are really my everyday, um, you know, pants that I wear. Um, these are like the good kind of mom jeans with elastic waistbands, you know, those kinds. I have a lot of pants. Um, I have exactly 18 pairs of pants here. I could go probably three weeks. No, probably more than that. Plus my leggings. Oh, goodness. I hadn't put much thought into that, but I could probably go four weeks without doing laundry and still have clothing to wear. So here I have 18 pairs of pants. Down here, I have all of my long sleeve shirts. So I like to wear long sleeves all year round um, and even in the summertime I'll wear a short sleeve shirt but I'll wear like a long sleeve uh, t-shirt underneath it's just um, and in winter time too but I, I prefer to be in long sleeves I'm a little self-conscious about my arms so my long sleeve shirts here we have 53 and that does include the one that I'm wearing right now 53 shirts and then up here we have my jackets and then a few dresses. So from that green over, I have six dresses. And then on the left side of that, we have 14 coats and sweaters. To my right here, I have all of my short sleeved shirts, mostly t-shirts um, and LuLaRoe kind of things. And short sleeve t-shirts and shirts, I have 38 of those. So I have an abundance of shirts and everyday pants. Um, coming over here to my shoes, I'm wearing a pair of slippers right now. And I have a pair of slippers in the other room along with two different kinds of, or two pairs of um, like workout walking shoes that I need to review. And so I didn't want to spoil it and show you those, but here are my shoes. I do have another pair of fluffy boots somewhere and I don't know where they are, but I have plenty of uh, shoes. I didn't count them, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pairs here. This one, slippers, makes 10, and then three pair in the other room. So 13 pairs of shoes altogether. Let me take you in my bedroom, and let's talk about all the things that I have in my dresser. Okay, so we are now in my bedroom, and I have little doggy stairs for Chewy. My bed's not made, but there's Tink. Tink, my love. Tink. She's living her best kitty life. Tink. She has a... <laughs> she just tunes me out. Anyway. Uh, so back over here, let me turn the exposure up a little bit. I have this uh, little drawer set that I got from Amazon. In this first drawer, I have all of my socks. I counted every pair. I have 34 pairs of socks here. 
I don't need any more socks. <laughs> then in the next drawer, we have my undies and they're all black. You can't tell what they are or see any sizes. So I don't care about opening it up, but it's full. And there's 21 pair, including the one that I have on. So like I said, lots and lots and lots of stuff. Then over here, we have my sports bras and my regular bras. I have seven regular bras, one of which is still in the packaging. I haven't even opened. And then I have nine sports bras over here for like yoga and stuff. And my next drawer, these are all of my, I don't know why it's so dark in here. These are all of my camisoles. So these are little undershirts that I wear every single day. It doesn't matter what I'm wearing. And a lot of times these are my pajama pants, or not pajama pants, my pajama tops. And I have, let's see, 19 of these in a variety of colors. And then moving over here, we've got some of, I'm sorry, this is so dark. Probably should have turned the, um, the camera light on, but these are some of my, um, what do you call them? leggings. I have 14 pair total. So I have some here and I think I have another drawer with leggings as well. No, maybe not. So 14 in there. And then here I've got four pairs of shorts. I have pajamas here. I have one uh, full pajama that is like arms, legs, footy pajamas, all sorts, you know, all the things. I have that in there. I've got two PJ like long sleeve tops and then PJ bottoms. I have 10 total. So there's that. Um, this one is empty and the one over here has the rest of my PJ bottoms. So now you can see why I do not need anything. Here's the inventory guys. <laughs> That's a lot. I have so much. Now my PJ tops, I normally wear like a short sleeve or long sleeve t-shirt or a cami as a top. Um, we've got bottoms and all the, the totals. I was gonna total up hoodies versus sweaters and decided not to, but uh, yeah. So now you know, this is why I do not have a clothing budget because I have in excess. So let me know going into the first of the year, if you're doing a no buy, have you gone through your house and like counted up all of the things that you have so that you know you don't need to buy anything more? After this video, um, I will go through and this is all of my um, nail supplies down here. We're going to go through that too um, here in the next day or two, but yeah, an abundance. So yeah, let me know down in the comments if you're doing the no spend. Let me know what you have an excess of and won't be buying in the next year. All right, guys, that's everything for me. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for supporting my channel, and I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you're at. Bye!